A trip to the airport usually isn't a fun proposition, but Angelina Jolie looked to be in high spirits as she arrived to catch a flight. Angie Starr flashed a winning smile as she strolled up to New York's JFK airport on Saturday. She flashed her winning smile while showing off an elegant beige trench coat from one of her favorite brands Everlyn. The 5 feet 7 in beauty paired her coat with a black sweater and a slim pair of dark jeans. She rocked a knee-length pair of black leather boots and wore a long camel-colored linen scarf. The changeling star carried along a large beige bag with a striking red strap as her carry-on. Though she has renewed her focus on film, Angelina's commitment to bettering the lives of the underprivileged around the globe is as strong as ever. She was in New York on March 22 to deliver an address to the United Nations in her capacity as a special envoy for the UN Refugee Agency. In her speech, she warned that the current waves of violence and bloodshed throughout the world would continue as long as the rights of women are not protected. Despite the numbers of successful women in many countries, women and girls are still the majority of the victims of war and the vast majority of victims of sexual violence. Women also make up more than half of all global refugees. Absent from her New York trip were her six children, which she shares with her ex-husband Brad Pitt, 55. The former couple share three adopted children, Maddox, 17, Pax, 15, and Zahara, 14. They also have three biological children, 12-year-old Shiloh and 10-year-old twins, Knox and Vivian. Though she planned to adopt the oldest, Maddox, with her then-husband Billy Bob Thornton, the wanted actress ended up adopting him a single parent. Brad later adopted all their children during their relationship. The couple began dating in 2005 following their collaboration in Mr. and Mrs. Smith and the dissolution of the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood star's marriage to Jennifer Aniston. The finally married in 2014, before ultimately divorcing in 2016.